The actual swab that we use is a, the same swab that's used for vi any viral respiratory pathogen. So it's the same swab that's used for flu and, and um, RSV and all the other um, the viruses and bacteria that live in the, in the upper airways. Um, the test for coronavirus itself is what's known as a molecular test. It's a, called RT-PCR. Um, and it actually detects the viral particles in the nose or in your secretions. That's why it's so important that people are only tested when they're when they're having symptoms because we don't know, we know that there probably is some shedding of virus before people actually start to feel sick, but we don't know what the sensitivity of these tests are um, at that point. So that's why we don't recommend testing when people are asymptomatic, even if they've been exposed uh, for the most part. And right now we don't have a test that looks at if you've ever been exposed. So that would be an antibody type test, like a, a blood test. Um, and right now we, we're not, that, that hasn't been developed. It may be in the future, um, but right now we're not doing that sort of broad-based screening just to see what the extent of exposure in the population has been.